Hi my loves, so today the battle of the aesthetic sprays is going down. I am going to be doing a first impressions on two setting sprays that I have got recently that have literally just been sitting on my vanity and I've been wanting to try them so I figured, you know what, today I'm going to try both of them and give you guys my first impressions and compare and contrast the two. I'm really, really excited. I've never done a first impressions and comparison video in one but I thought this would kind of be cool at least. So the first setting spray up is the Scandinavia The Makeup finishing spray. I have heard nothing but amazing things about this, especially from you guys. A lot of you have recommended this product to me, so I did go ahead and get it. It is a fine mist, oil-free, and paraben-free makeup setting. It says that Scandinavia uses temperature-controlled technology and that it is the only product clinically proven to keep your makeup on for 16 hours, which is nuts. That is super, super long, so this is definitely a long-lasting product. It's definitely supposed to keep your makeup on your face looking fresh and flawless all night long and make sure that you don't kind of get those gross like cracky like things that you can get um, from your makeup if you guys know if you wear your makeup for too long it starts to like crack and separate and stuff which you obviously don't want so this is supposed to alleviate that with that temperature control technology so you can basically wear this whenever and not have to worry about your makeup melting off your face when I was actually researching this online I actually read that the founder of Scandinavia founded this in a Miami nightclub because I guess the founder saw that all these women in the nightclub had their makeup like melting off their face by the end of the night so they went ahead and made a product to fix that that, which is apparently bomb so I am really really excited to give this a try and see if it kind of lives up to all the hype that it is given because people love this stuff so I'm hoping that I love it as well we will see and the next opponent setting spray is the elf makeup mist and set setting spray I love elf products they are known for super inexpensive products this was only three dollars at Target so super inexpensive but I kind of want to see if it actually does do anything or make a difference on my skin. It doesn't claim to do as many things as the Scandinavia setting spray does claim. Um, this basically just says that it's going to keep the wearability factor of your makeup longer and help prevent your makeup from fading on your face. So it doesn't say that it's going to hold it for 16 hours or anything like the Scandinavia setting spray did say. So um, definitely not more of a long lasting product. If you're really looking for a product to keep your makeup on, Scandinavia is probably a better one, but we're going to make sure of that in this video to see um, how they kind of compare so yeah that doesn't really say much about this online to be honest it doesn't make that many claims uh, I literally have it like up on my phone right now what it claims and um, it actually compares it to a hairspray but for your makeup which kind of sounds weird but it's a good like description of a setting spray so it's basically just supposed to keep your makeup on improve the wearability and prevent the color from fading on your face so yeah we're gonna go ahead and test these two babies and compare and contrast them and see how they both work um, so I'm literally just going to cover up half my face, spray half, and spray half. But the Scandinavia one is a little bit different because this actually comes and it says it on the back. It has a specific pattern that's supposed to give you the best results. So you're supposed to spray this on your face in a specific pattern, which I thought was really awesome that they kind of went that extra step and added that to help you to make sure that you're really getting the most out of the setting spray. The e.l.f. doesn't have a specific way to apply it, so I'm just going to apply the e.l.f. one as I normally would, which I normally just kind of spray, I guess. Um, this one I am going to do the pattern but I'm only going to be doing it on half of my face so it will be a little bit different but it does tell you to shake well then spray two to four times in an X and T formation so you would be going in an X and then in a T like this if you were spraying it on your whole face since I'm only going to be doing half um, I actually probably will still go like this over my whole face and then um, but nothing is going to get on this half of my face so I still am getting like the same as if I was putting it on my whole face if that makes sense to you guys. Um, and then the e.l.f. one, like I said, I'll probably just spray like this because they don't specify like how you're supposed to spray it. So I'm just gonna spray it as I normally would spray a setting spray. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and apply the Scandinavia Makeup Setting Spray first. So I'm gonna shake it up like it says to do. And then I'm going to hold the paper onto half my face. Sorry, my lighting gets really weird when I do this. And then I'm going to spray it in the X and T motion. Okay, I can already tell it's a very fine mist, which is really, really nice. Like some of the setting sprays I've tried before leave my face feeling like very wet and like my makeup is like dripping off. This does not, it's a very fine mist, which is really, really nice. Um, and I'm gonna look in the mirror now. It's not like changing the look of my skin. It's not dripping off, nothing like that. So just kind of like a normal setting spray, but like I said, it does have that finer mist, which is really nice because you kind of don't want to be feeling like your face is wet and it's coming off because that's gross. So this side of my face is Scandinavia. I really cannot forget this. I like need to write this down. This side of my face is Scandinavia. And then I'm going to go ahead with the e.l.f. makeup setting spray on the other side. 
Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. <laughs> this is like embarrassing. Okay, that was, I don't know, like, is my face glowing? Like, I literally. Okay. I. Okay. <laughs> that, I really was not expecting that. This comes out of here like a bat out of hell, like, literally, poof, like a blast of water <laughs> to your face. Oh my goodness gracious. Okay. My makeup doesn't look like it's like coming off my face though, like it's flying down, but that is wet on the face, like oh my god. Like this paper is even wet, oh my god, okay. Yeah, so that this is definitely like a much, much stronger, more intense like mist on your face. Um, this one is much finer, like doesn't really feel like much is going on your face. This, this is really intense, so be ready for that. Like I literally feel like I took like one of those like spray bottles and just sprayed my face with water, um, so. That was just, I just was not expecting that. It doesn't mean that it's like a bad thing, um, you know? Cause like my makeup doesn't, I'm like looking in the mirror over here, sorry. Um, my makeup doesn't look like it's like coming off or dripping or anything, but that was very intense. So yeah, if you're gonna try the e.l.f. setting spray, just know that it was going to be a blast of water to your face. Um, but we will see if it holds on my makeup um, by doing that. So yeah, it is about, 10 a.m. here, so I will try and check in with you guys probably again around 4 p.m. or so, and then I'll check in with you guys again much later tonight, like maybe 9 o'clock or around that time, and let you guys know how my makeup is holding up. So I will see you guys very, very soon. Bye. Hi, my love. So it is currently 4.08 p.m., and I will be the first person to say that I have not done much today just yet. I haven't really done anything that would cause me to sweat or anything just yet today. Um, so I haven't really seen the full lasting power of either of these setting sprays, but I have kind of gathered my thoughts um, on at least one of them. One thing that I have realized with this e.l.f. Um, makeup mist and set is that this side of my face still feels like sticky. And when I first applied it, I, and it's not even sticky, like it's not like it's sticky like when I touch it. It just, it kind of feels like, I don't know if this has ever happened to you guys, but if you're spraying your hair with hairspray and then the hairspray like gets onto your skin and your skin kind of gets like a little tight and like, I don't know, sticky kind of, that's kind of what this side of my face feels like. And when I first applied it, it kind of felt like that, but I didn't really notice it. And now I, it still feels that way and we're talking like, many hours after when I originally applied it. Um, I don't know, like my skin just feels kind of tight um, and I don't really like that at all. Um, I mean, my makeup has stayed on okay. Like it doesn't really look, I can see on this side, um, most especially, like my highlight is still very, very prominent on this side where it has faded a little bit, especially back here on this side. Um, but I just really don't like the way that this like feels on my skin. Like I actually thought about like a couple of hours ago just washing my skin off and getting it off because I don't want to like break out from this. Um, I don't know. It just, it doesn't have a nice lasting feeling on my skin at all. Um, but I mean, my makeup is still on my face. So I mean, I guess it's working to keep my makeup on. Like I said, like my highlighter is definitely on better on this side than it is on this side. It has faded a little bit, but not like significantly. But I really don't like the feeling that this e.l.f makeup mist and set gives to my skin at all. Like I probably will not use this setting spray again after this. Um, this side feels totally fine. Like from the second that I applied the Scandinavia, my skin, it didn't feel weird at all. It's a very fine mist. It did not make my skin feel any different. It feels totally normal. But this side of my face, I can still, I definitely have like a feeling of like tightness or something. I don't really know how to describe it. Um, but yeah, I haven't seen like the full on lasting power of either of these setting sprays just yet. Although I am at right after this gonna go ahead and go to the gym and then I have a bunch of errands that I do need to run um, today. So I have a lot of stuff going on tonight. So we'll definitely be seeing the lasting power of the Scandinavia as well as the e.l.f. So we can kind of compare and contrast that some more when I come back to you guys later tonight. But thus far, really not loving this e.l.f. makeup mist and set. I don't know. It just really doesn't make my face feel 
nice at all. Um, but the Scandinavia one so far, I have no complaints. Got my skin feels totally normal as if I did not spray anything on it. Um, but my makeup is staying on really, really well. It looks freshly applied. Um, but I applied it at like 10 a.m. this morning and we're already at 4 p.m. So yeah, definitely impressed with the Scandinavia one for sure so far. Uh, the e.l.f. one hopefully will get better throughout the day. I don't know. We will just have to see when I check back in with you guys. So I hopefully will see you guys later tonight sometime, you know, 8, 9 o'clock or so. Uh, so see you guys then. Bye. All right, my love. So it is now 8.59 on the dot here and I am getting ready to go to bed because... I am a grandma, <laughs> um, but I definitely have gathered my thoughts on these two setting sprays. If you guys cannot tell already by looking at the half part of my face, I can't tell if the camera picks up on it or not, but I just spent some time in front of my good old little magnifying mirror here and really kind of analyzed my face to see, you know, this side versus this side. So for you guys, for your, um, you know, thoughts at home or whatever, this side again of my face was with the Scandinavia setting spray and this side was with the e.l.f. setting spray and there is absolutely a huge huge difference. So going into this video, I will be honest with you guys, I did kind of think that the Scandinavia setting spray was going to be better than the e.l.f. makeup mist setting spray just because they, you know, this obviously is a more high-end product where this is more drugstore um, and, you know, but I wanted to give them both a very fair shot and even if I thought the Scandinavia one was better, I would still let you guys know if I did like the e.l.f. one but honestly, I really don't like this e.l.f. one at all. I think I'm going to go return this tomorrow. I think that it is just really not a good product from the moment that I sprayed it on my face. I really didn't like it. Um, I just, I don't think that this is a good product at all. Um, if you guys can tell in the camera, I can absolutely tell looking in my mirror, this side of my face looks near flawless. Like literally how I applied my makeup this morning and I have not touched up my face at all. Either side of my face, I haven't blotted it, I haven't put any extra powder, nothing. Literally since when you guys first saw me this morning. So this side of my face looks very similar to how it looked this morning. This side of my face, completely different. This side of my face has definitely faded also on my nose, which I really realized when I looked in close up in the mirror. Um, the, sep the foundation has separated on this side of my nose, but this side of my nose, it hasn't. Um, so yeah, and even underneath my eyes, just literally everywhere on this side of the face is like kind of starting to be like, all right, take your makeup off now, where this side of my face still looks false. Like I could go out with my makeup on this side and just, you know, be taking pictures from only this side. But um, yeah, I mean, I am just actually kind of flabbergasted at the difference. I don't know. I guess... I've heard great things about Scandinavia, but I wasn't a thousand percent sure if it was going to live up and just really be as amazing as everybody says it is, but this stuff is the bomb.com. It's absolutely amazing. It's a super fine mist. Literally, it feels like you're spraying nothing on your face. It sets in like one second. Your face does not feel watery or like there's stuff on it. It does not make your skin tight and it keeps your makeup looking amazing. And I do think a big part of that is the spray pattern they do tell you to do. So like I said, it's like an X and then a T, and I really think that's great that they were able to not only make a product but then come up with a specific spray pattern and how you are supposed to spray it on your face because that really targets the areas of your face that really need to be set the most because, you know, mostly you're going to want to do your T-zone area. So um, I really, really love the spray pattern that they do offer with the Scandinavia setting spray, and I mean, I just think the Elf one, they don't really tell you how to spray it. I just sprayed it as I normally would a spray a setting spray, and I just really didn't like this product. It left this side of my face, as I said in the first time that I updated you guys, very like sticky and like rough feeling. Like I don't even know, like just very tight as if I literally sprayed hairspray on my face, which is not a feeling that you guys want. And I really just think that even though I had a feeling because I thought, you know, oh, well maybe because I feel it on my face, maybe it'll really work and it'll really keep my makeup on and it didn't. Still, the Scandinavia side was way better way like stayed on better on my face so honestly if you are in the market for a setting spray spend the extra money and get the scandinavia one it is a million times better i would not waste your money on the elf one you will be better off just not using a setting spray honest to god because um, so i really don't think that this helps stay like keep my makeup on any longer than usual so yeah uh the scandinavia is the definite clear winner on this one they actually also have a primer which i really want to try because apparently the primer and the makeup setting spray together are like amazing so maybe i can do a first impressions on the primer for you guys apparently it's supposed to be really really good for combination to oily skin and controlling oil again keeping your makeup on your face for absolutely as long as possible so you can get the most out of your makeup so i definitely do want to give that a try as well so maybe i can do another first impressions or something on that if that's something you guys are interested in. give this video a thumbs up if you are interested in that but this is an awesome 
awesome, awesome product. I really, really like it. Definitely going to continue to be using it. So you will see this in a lot more of my videos coming up very, very soon. But yeah, those are basically my thoughts and everything on the two products. I hope that you guys did enjoy this video and I will see you guys very, very soon in my next one. Bye.